Okay, let's talk about transitions for TikToks, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts that involve clothing transitions. That's going from one outfit into the next in a transition kind of way. Now, we're gonna talk about the basics here, and please note, I have a lot of tutorials on different types of clothing or other types of transitions that you can get on my YouTube page. I do these in longer tutorials, but I also do these in shorts, so like under 60 seconds, showing you exactly how to do these. So make sure you hit that subscribe and notification bell, and then pay attention to the shorts on the platform and on your phone when you're scrolling because I'm literally showing you step by step how to do some of these. But basics are really, really important before we jump into those conversations. So when it comes to clothing transitions, you're going from one outfit into the next. The object is to kind of do some type of movement that then leads into the next outfit and you're gonna be cutting. So you will see something like people reaching their hand forward and swiping across that camera. And when they do, they do it in a very quick motion because quick movements are incredibly important to clean cuts. If you go slow, watch the way my hand is moving across that camera if I'm going at that pace I then have to match my second footage exactly to that hand that's going to cause a problem but if you move it fast that quick motion that movement is going to be covering any not exactness that you're gonna find between your footage so when it comes to this the most basic thing that you can do is actually cover up the camera lens and you can do that with your hand you can do that by moving the camera I have tutorials on how to do this and I teach on how to do this a lot but that's the most basic version of this so think of it this way you're in your first outfit and you're just swiping your hand across it. You're going to be a lot closer to the camera than I am right now because your hand is going to take up the entire frame. The second that that color of your hand starts to hit your camera, that's when you're going to cut, right? When it hits about that halfway mark of your face. And that is when you're transitioning into your second outfit. Now, as you're creating these, you're going to probably want to film these outside of TikTok or Instagram or YouTube or whatever. Edit them in a separate situation and an app for editing or whatever and then import it in. It's gonna make for a much cleaner cut, but you can do it inside of the app. You absolutely can and just kind of trim it inside of there. It's just a little bit harder and the camera's not as good. So I do recommend filming this on your camera and just setting up your phone on a tripod right in front of you and you're then just going to be able to swipe your hand in front of it and remember your camera's gonna be higher on your phone than where your face is on your phone. So you gotta make sure it goes high enough to kind of cover it, but not necessarily hit that. I did it this week, I hit my ring light and sent everything everything flying, but you want to make sure you're just swiping across it and covering it. Now, then you're going to splice in your second one and you're going to move further away from your camera and finish what you're doing. You can cover your camera with many different ways. Basics. You use your hand. You can use an accessory. So you can take a hat and move it right in front of that camera and use that as the covering. You can move the camera if you want. Some people, if they have longer hair, will do a hair flip and they'll do it. I've even done things like kicking my leg at the camera and when my leg goes up and my foot covers that camera lens, then I transition into it. So the basics, covering the camera or the majority of the camera. And remember, those fast movements are what going to be allowing you to create a clean transition. Now you can do other things. You can stand further back from the camera and with a movement like a snap, you have the ability to, when your hand goes to that snapping position, when it hits that relative area, it's going to transition to your next outfit. You just have to mark where your feet are so you're standing in the same place. And then you can do your transition or you can do a turn. I've done things where I have actually moved my entire head and when I whipped my head to the side, that movement, I transitioned into a different outfit so that when I moved the head and moved it back, I'm now in a different outfit. So what you're going to do is just kind of create some big movement. So it can be a big arm swing or it can be a kick with your foot. It could be uh, moving your foot forward a lot of people will do like the shoe transition where they'll toss a shoe in the air and when it hits the foot, automatically they're in a new outfit. And so it's the big movements that they are going to then be clipping on. But you have to remember to have the placement the same. You're gonna have to be the same distance from the camera. Your position is gonna be need to be in a relatively same area. So if you are snapping, your hand's gonna have to end more or less here rather than down here or up here because then you're gonna see it. So you have to be very, very aware and sometimes that takes more takes to kind of splice things together. 
together. So your goal here is to either cover the camera or do some big movement to then splice into your second outfit. And you should do multiple takes of this. So let's talk pro tips for just a second before we jump into the rest. Pro tips for this, you want to make sure you know where your feet are standing. Get taped to mark it if you have to. Always, unless there are very specific transitions that don't require this, but 90% of the cases have your phone on a tripod as you're filming this and don't let anybody touch it. We're not hand holding this. There are a couple of transitions where you will hand hold it, but other people hand holding it probably isn't gonna work to your benefit. So have it stable and steady, that's gonna make for that clean cut. Fast movements, big movements lead to cleaner cuts and then you just have to practice to get better at it. So start small with those easy covering transitions, go to the big movement transitions as you grow with what you're doing. Now, remember, I have a lot of tutorials on how to do this and I'm continuing to help you to come up with really cool new transitions. So anytime something trending is coming out, I'll show you how to do it, but I'm also showing you new unique things as well. So get in my comments and let me know, are you a beginner, an intermediate, or an expert level person at creating transitions. What tutorials do you want to see from me in short form? Let me know where I should be focusing my time. For those of you who are brand new, who kind of have some experience or who are really good and want that high end kind of really cool transitions that require a little more work and I will make tutorials for you. Now if you have questions on this, go ahead and drop them down below. And remember, once you have filmed your video, you are going to edit it together as seamlessly as possible, and then you're going to upload it to TikTok or Instagram or YouTube, wherever it happens to be. You're going to time it to your music, and you are going to do a great job with these transitions. When you first start, they will be bad. That's okay. Just keep practicing. You'll get better as you go. I did not start out being able to do transitions really well. I can do them now, but I definitely had a, to learn. It was a learning curve. It was a process. And it will be for you as well. So drop your questions, drop your comments, and drop which level you want me to be creating more content for, beginner, intermediate, or expert, and I'll create more tutorials for you. Make sure you're following along for all of my short tutorials.